Welcome back to the channel guys, I'm your host The Talking Stig and in today's video we're going to be talking about the legendary Yamaha RX100. After the failure of the RD350, Yamaha was really struggling in the Indian market. At the same time Suzuki was doing very good. Yamaha really needed a home run if they wanted their futures in India to look any good. That is when Yamaha decided to release the RX100 in 1985 and the RX100 was an instant success. Yamaha first brought 5,000 Japanese models of the RX100 to India. With its great success, Yamaha then decided to sell the bike in India as a knockdown unit built in Japan and then assembled in India. It was priced at 19,764 rupees back in 1989. Following the success of the RX100, Yamaha launched a bunch of different models and versions of the bike. One of the big reasons for the RX100's success in India was its lightweight body and lots of torque. As well as having a good mileage, the bike offered a lot of punch, which the riders really liked. RX100 was the favorite amongst the hoonigans, the stunt riders of those times. Because of the good build quality, the bike was very rigid, had a very good frame which could take a lot of beating. The RX100 was also featured in a lot of movies of those times, giving it the bad boy persona that it has today. The RX100 was very capable and had a ton of modifications options. This bike was truly the first tuner bike of its time as it had so many modifications that you could do to it. You could port the head, have bigger injectors, expansion chambers and racing pistons. This bike is also very popular for its drag builds. Guys make sure you're tuned in till the end of the video to see my personal modified RX100 which I made into a dirt bike. As emission standards were rising, they also introduced a new version of the RX which is the RX-G. It had better fuel economy as well as some changes to its suspension. The three first versions brought to India was Peacock Blue, Cherry Red and the last was the Metallic Black. In today's day and age, the Yamaha RX has become an icon. It is very hard to find a good example of it as the bike is quite old and the ones that have been kept in a good shape are very very expensive. You can see a good example of an RX being sold for 1 lakh rupees easy nowadays. As the bike has such a cult following, enthusiasts are really picking up the bike and some of them are even collecting the ones which are in really low mileage. Let's check out a few of the commercials that Yamaha made back in the days. Guys, do hit the like button if you're enjoying the video as YouTube really likes videos that has a lot of likes and promotes them. The Yamaha RX popularity was booming in the late 1990s as it was being picked up by all the criminals of the world as it was a fast bike and cheap at that time. As the bike was so fast, criminals really loved that. They could get away in this bike way easier than they could in some other bike as it had a very good top speed which was 110 km per hour and in those times guys 110 km per hour was a lot. In order to protect the brand image of Yamaha, they decided to change the RX looks completely with the next version of this bike, the RX Z. They added a new front disc brake to it as well which was really needed as well as that they added a 135cc engine to it. The new Yamaha RX Z. It also got an expansion chamber, revised gearing, and a top speed bumped up to 125 km an hour because the back's PHP had went up to 14 km an hour. This bike was a very popular bike of those times, guys. However, it failed as the looks of it was just not good. That is when Yamaha decided to release the next version of the bike, the RX 135 which had the looks of the RX100 but the performance of the RXZ. And this is the most successful bike of the two strokes era for Yamaha. This bike was actually so famous that Yamaha even continued it for a bunch of years in the other countries like Malaysia and Thailand. Whereas it was discontinued in India in 2009. The biggest reason for Yamaha RX success was its cost of maintenance and cost of ownership as well as reliability. See, Yamaha engineers designed this bike in such a way that if you were a little handy with the tools, you could literally work on this bike at home. Henceforth, the popularity of modified RXs in today's world 
you will find a lot of modified RXs in today's world. Let's take a look at few for example. Like this one is by a YouTuber named Naughty Goswami. This is a RX 135 that he has built it into a scrambler, which is a very nicely and tastefully modified bike. I quite like the brown saddleback look that he's going for and the paint job is also quite fire. Congratulations Naughty Bhai, the bike looks rad. The next one is a very special bike by a very special builder. This is a cafe racer done up by Iconic Customs. Guys all the links are in the description box below, do check them out. And like I promised, the next one is my personal RX 135. And as you can see, the bike is done up from head to toe. It's got anything and everything that you could possibly imagine. Like front disc brakes, monoshock in the back, done up suspension, bigger sprocket, different chain, different handlebar, LED lights, not to mention the body kit of course, and off-road tires. This bike is quite special to me guys, as this bike is the first bike that I ever owned. I didn't even know how to ride a bike when I bought the bike. I learned how to ride in this very motorcycle and it will probably stay with me until I die. I've put a lot of miles and smiles into the bike and it's gone through a lot of looks as well. Guys, do let me know what you think of my bike in the comment section below. That will be all for this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to like the video and do subscribe to the channel. You can also check out the rest of our playlist by clicking on this button here.